Hello! Heather and I sometimes enjoy watching shows like Ghost Adventures and other things like that that they have on Destination America and the Travel Channel and so forth. And I was noticing that some of their equipment is a little bit, shall we say, homemade. One of the things that I noticed is their SLS camera looks a lot like a Kinect. In fact, it looks identical to a Kinect, including the label on it that says Kinect. So, since I had a Kinect camera laying around, I thought I would give it a shot and see if I could reproduce some of their equipment. And lo and behold, as soon as I set it up, I found that I have a ghost. He likes to hang out at the end of the cabinet in the kitchen, dance for me, and have a good time. You can see him over my shoulder, and he's just having a blast. Currently, we're mainly viewing in infrared, so you really can't see what he's doing, and you can't see where he is. But let me swap that out to a different view for you, and you can see what's going on. Now, this is the depth view. This is actually where it's using the infrared to tell how far away things are. And you can see that he has something that he's sitting on or sitting in front of where he's doing his own thing and having a great time. So let me go ahead and change that view to where you can see true color and you can see what we're doing. So this is the end of the cabinet where it is just actually hanging out on that flat blank surface. There's nothing on it, has no decorations on it, nothing sitting on there, no painted images, no any kind of thing. It is a wood grain, but that's really all that there is. So a lot of times when you see that show, they'll be pointing at something and saying, look, there's an unknown image sitting there. There's an entity on that. As you can tell, apparently entities like to hang out in the middle of the air on the end of a cabinet. Anyway, thought I would share. Have a good time. If you're curious how this was made to work, this is actually a Kinect 360 using the Microsoft 1.8 development kit, along with some drivers that I found off the internet and a little 12 volt power supply. 